Welcome. In this video, we're going to do an unboxing and component overview of the Nemesis board game published by Awaken Realms. So down at the table, this is a space themed horror game for one to five players. Go ahead and rip the shrink wrap off here and take a look inside. So we've got some great art. See, this is a thick box with a lot of components. Ages 14 and up. Games last between 60 to 120 minutes and for one to five players. So if I could fit this on my game, there might be a solo play coming. So Nemesis is a one to five player space survival game with incredible miniatures and clever immersive rules that include cooperation, bluffing, backstabbing, and all other elements of an iconic science fiction horror adventure. The crew wakes up from hibernation. The damage report states that it is critical system failure and the ship cannot continue its cruise. Task is to find the damage, repair it, and safely return to Earth. The problem? One crew member is dead. Somebody ripped open his hibernation pod and pulled his body out. To make matters worse, you can hear noises in the vast corridors of the ship. They sound unlike anything you have heard before. When faced with the ultimate horror, will you trust your crewmates? Probably not. But that's just me. So, inside... We've got a rule book just waiting to get out the game manual. So rule summary on the back, going over round order, game flow, exploration, actions, items and objects, combat and intruder attack. So 28 pages here. Going over all the game elements and there's quite a lot. Game introduction, game setup, so step by step with an illustration, always nice to see. Then more game set up. Flow of the game, player goals. So the text is, looks well laid out. A little bit of text, a little bit of pictures. Going over actions, movement, exploration. And then encounters in combat. So it looks like a lot of things to check up on. So the room sheet and different ga game modes, solo cooperative mode and playing as an intruder. All right. And we've got a thick room sheet for the basic rooms one. Just going over what they do. Additional rooms two and special rooms. And another copy of that. Then we've got some tiles going over our different rooms. Looks like we've got actions and depending on how many things are going to be in there. So these are our rooms ones. Then more tokens, got the intruder board, working and damaged, I guess, engines, some more tokens. more tiles. So apparently there's more tiles than you need. So every game you play, you're not going to know what rooms are actually on the board. And we've got some of our character boards. You got the captain and the mechanic. The scientist and pilot. I'll go ahead and pop one of these out. So it's your standard cardboard thickness for the components here. Then we have our scout and a soldier. All right, then we've got a box stand, first player token and some doors. And then our main map board, which is going to be too big for my camera view, I'm pretty sure. So it is dual sided. Let me get this out of the way and move back some. So here's the one side of the board. And coming in a little closer, you can see our little rooms where our towels are going to go and passageways in between. And then on the other side,
Some things are getting rearranged a little bit. And back to our box. Got some nice game trays holding everything together. Actually, don't know if this is officially licensed game trays, but hold your game in their trays. So we've got two of those. So inside the top one, got some danger tokens. Or I'm sorry, noise markers. A whole bunch of those. More throw away, do not eat items. Or dice. We've got two specialized D6s and two D10s with different symbols on them. Then some fire tokens. Some nice acrylic. See a little flame inside the flame there. And we've got some malfunction markers. Broken gears will have to be fixing throughout the game. And we'll take a look at some of the minis here. So we've got three of these creepers that will be creeping around the floor coming after us. And our characters. Not the name things, I don't know who these are going to be. There's one. So some pretty good detail on all these, even on the bases. This has got to be our fighter. Well, it doesn't got to be, but probably is. Another one of our characters. Is there a rogue-like person? Scout, maybe? And then our last hero. And we've got some larva figures. And then some intruders of different forms. Says these are really good looking miniatures. Should be nice and textured to help painting styles. And we've got some card holders for all the players. So going from player one through five. And we've got one of those infection procedure scanners. Slide our cards in there and see if we're infected or not. Ammo and injury markers, which are just your typical square acrylic cubes. And player bases. Pick your favorite color, put them on the bottom of your character. And we've got some standees. Assume these are gonna be for our doors. And some status markers. So they look like the things you put in the bottom of your fish bowls, but they're not as heavy as those gems. And then one bag for some random tokens. All right, so that's the top tray. In the bottom, we've got the rest of our monsters. We've got the queen. And all her babies popping out there. And two of these breeders. And more of the adults. So like I said, there's eight of these. We've seen two of them. There's four different sculpts. So we'll just bring those out. So this is the one we've already looked at. Another version. 
standing up, just relaxing. And the last version of those guys. And we've got a bunch of cards. All right, so here's all the components laid out. So we'll start taking a closer look at the cards. Since there's so many cards, I'm just gonna go through them quickly. We do have 10 promo cards in here. It's just gonna be some different type of artwork. Get some design features and so forth, but not needed for the gameplay. And we'll start with the smaller cards, looking at coordinates for where we're going to need to go to. So, of course, we want to go to Earth, but uh, if we don't go to the, or set our computer to the right place, this is going to take us to different places. Of course, we might have an objective that goes somewhere else. Of course, I'm just guessing, haven't played the game yet. Then we have some Intruder Weakness cards. So, Vulnerable to Fire, Energy, Reaction to danger, the way of moving, vital places, species on the brink of extinction, the way of fighting, and susceptible to phosphates. Then for our heroes, they each have three starting cards. So they're going to be quests to get an intercom for the captain and a log key and his starting item. He's got a six shooter. And for the mechanic, trying to get a plasma torch and a flashlight. And starting with a sawed-off shotgun. That's what every mechanic needs. Orbital maneuvering system for our pilot. An evacuation key will be nice. And starting item, a shotgun. So our scientist has some laboratory equipment or wants to get some, a hollow computer. I'd like one of those. And a pistol. Then our scout has a security key, or that's her quest anyway, and a motion scanner. And starts with a rifle. And her soldier has got an auto loader who wants to get for his gun and some armor. And starts with an assault rifle. And we've got a stack of military items we can find. So just going through he here real quick, some energy charges. Well, a lot of energy charges. And prototype weapons, grenades, recon drones, extended magazines, decoys, evacuation key, and a comms key. Then some technical items. So a bunch of energy charges, some clothes, very technical, chemicals. Fire extinguisher, makes sense since we have some fire tokens, some tools. Duct tape, that fixes everything. We should be safe, we're gonna be fine. Nemesis plans, spacesuit, and corridor plans. Then medical items. Med kit. Several of those will probably be needed. Synthetic food. Nasty. Adrenaline. Military drugs. Clothes. Bandages. Alcohol. Don't think that's the right kind of alcohol we want though. All right, then we can craft some items. So by combining some of those, so if we take these two items, we can make a classic weapon flamethrower or an antidote. Antidote to flame Molotov cocktail. We might be expecting some zombies. Taser. Then we have some help cards letting us know what player we are. So we've got up to five of those, goes through the player phase and event phase. On the back is just after you've done all your actions, you pass your turn. So we're gonna have five of those. Then we are going to be able to draft our characters. So we're choosing the captain, mechanic, pilot, scientist, scout, and soldier. 
Then we have some objectives and they're gonna come in two forms of corporate and personal. So things for us to do in addition to not dying, or maybe we do have an objective to die. And of course they do tell you the player count for each of these. Then solo and cooperative objectives, destination earth, post-mortem, some protocol, cutting off the head, no man left behind, special delivery, and a cleanup crew. Then intruder, player action cards, letting us know what we can do, move directions, and so forth. Serious wounds, as opposed to not so serious. Got an arm problem. Well, if you got three arms, that's a problem. Legs, body aches, bleeding, that's never a good sign. Hands, then intruder attack cards. I guess this is what all the monsters are going to be doing to us. Claw attacks, bites, scratches, slime, summoning, transformation, frenzy, and tail attacks. Then event cards. Protect the eggs, hatching, regen. So don't believe any of these are going to be good for us. Hunt. Scent to prey, that's never good. Consuming fire, damaging fire. And a short circuit. And lastly, a big stack of action cards. So I'm gonna split these out here. Because each of our heroes is gonna come with their own starter set. So you can see this is for the captain. And some of these are gonna be just for that one hero, but a lot of them are gonna be similar. So you can see searches are gonna go for everybody pretty much, along with resting. And searching for the pilot. Doing some repairs and piloting, of course. I always got an old friend. Then the scientist, he searches and rests and repairs. And her scouts, searches, and rests, and scavenges. And her soldier, searching, resting, demoing, interrupting, basic repairing, cover fire, taking aim, nerves of steel, and full auto. Then the rest of our cards, basically this is gonna let us know they're all contamination. So they all look the same, with this fun little writing down here. And with those, You can infection procedure, insert your card here after you do your blood test and it's gonna let you know. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that or not through here, but some of them are gonna have infected somewhere in here and some of them aren't. So that's a quick look at all the components in the Nemesis board game. As always, hope you enjoyed this quick unboxing. So please click on the like button below and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.